Welcome, bitches, one and all, to my reaction to Season 2, Episode 2 of the Originals, Alive and Kicking. So, last time we had the season opener, the, I have to say, was one of my favourite episodes of the show so far, for the simple fact of being able to see Elijah, Klaus, and Haley come together and behave like a family unit, you know, like, actually have that connection with each other. Now, in speaking of their family, however, we ended the episode by finding out that not just Finn has come back, but also Cole, which means with Esther and Michael both back as well, we currently have the entire original family walking the earth, which is both incredible and terrifying at the same time. So <laughs> very excited to see where the season goes from here. But yes, with that said, let's jump back in to the world of the originals. We're going back in time? Oh, shit. Let me guess, they were responsible. Father's always hated you most. Surely he'll chase you if you flee, leaving me here. I was going to say, does he have a negative opinion of Klaus considering his father's chasing him? I find it amusing that you think you have a choice. So, I was about to say, so this is the moment the that he gets stabbed. Where I'm not so easily subdued, and on that day, I will make you suffer. So I'm assuming that was the moment where Cole was staked. And then when we saw him in the present day, that was like the time that he had lost, which if that's the case, then that is an insane amount of time, Jesus. But I mean, if he's doing all of this, going on rampages and causing so many issues for them, then I don't blame them on that front. Huh? How did he do that? He can use magic. Oh, oh, well. Sorry, I know I've paused like three times already, Jesus, but I suppose, yeah, they were all born to be witches. Like, they all had it in their blood. It's the vampirism that took that magic away. So the idea that their spirit is now not a vampire, like their spirit is their true self, I suppose if they come back in another body, they will have magic. It's either that or they've been transferred into witches and that is why they have magic. Maybe a combination of the both. Who the fuck is that? So I think it's safe to say Haley killed her, but who? Klaus took me out to the cauldron. Wouldn't you know we ran into some witches? So would you like me to remove your leftovers? Oh my god. What I did is no worse than anything Klaus has ever done. I would hope that you would hold yourself to a higher standard than Nick. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know why you're using him as your... <laughs> They're worth nothing more than food. Wow. Excuse me. The witches who killed my baby are worth nothing more than food. That is insane. Oh my god, what a thought process to have. But I have to say, I saw last time, unfortunately I recorded before I was able to see the question, but um, there was a post on the question time last episode about if I thought that Haley would change the way that Elena changed going to vampirism. And I definitely do. I think that the problem is, it's not that Haley's going to be changed by the vampirism and all of that on her like own self it's that like the the time that it happened there was the trauma associated with her baby being taken away and the problem is with vampirism enhancing those emotions and enhancing the experience it's gonna feel so much deeper that sense of loss of her baby because her baby's not with her right now that sense of them trying to kill her child that sense of them not just that but the anger of the fact that their actions have turned her into a hybrid, turned her into something that she never wanted to be. There is going to be so much anger, rage, sadness going within her right now. And because of the vampirism, it's all been heightened and she's going to be running more on the lines of being a monster than she has before, you know? Being a vampire only exaggerates what you truly are. And wolves are wild things. She knows she can never live up to the pretty little picture you paint of her in your head. Wow. Your judgment only hurts her more. God, I mean, I'm not ja I'm not doubting that. That's definitely true. The mother of your child deserves much better than just fine. You'll take her to the bayou. Find any remaining wolves. Perhaps her people can reach her. Now more than yeah. she needs a connection to some... She's completely disconnected herself from that side of her life. Find Jackson. I feel like she needs Jackson. Oh, intriguing. I can't do it. Now, you once said the same thing of your reading. We never get Elijah and... um. Marcel backstories. Well, isn't this nice? My older brother, my ward, getting along like two peas in a pod. He's jealous. You know, Rebecca's still pouting over the governor's son. When you threw him to his death, did you imagine a different outcome? Literally. If only there was someone with whom I could share a bit of roguery. Oh, yes, there is. 
Oh my god, he undaggered Cole. Yep, shocker. As far as apologies go, it's a start. So this is your idea of fun. Why well, you and Marcellus have grown thick as thieves? This is classic, like to a T manipulation on Elijah and Klaus feeling Klaus is feeling hurt that Elijah has become the father figure to Marcel. He has become the father figure, the one who's actually treating Marcel right. And so in his little petty ways, he's trying to get back at Elijah. He's saying, look, you took Marcel, I've undaggered Cole. How does that make you feel, yeah? Because he knows that it's going to piss Elijah off. He knows it's going to hurt Elijah. That's why he's got a fucking smile on his face right now. I just, oh, it's so funny seeing someone behave this way. It's like immaturity to its highest. Just stop being so fucking petty, Klaus. I came to make you an offer. Find me the white oak steak and I'll let this little social experiment continue. I'll deal with the matter personally. Oh, I love when Elijah threatens people. I don't know why, it just like, I don't know, it does something to me. <laughs> but yeah, if you go to Davina, you'll find out exactly where it is. Perhaps I can help you solve the riddle. Unless you trick me into a spell that will free you from my control. You know, for someone who despises Klaus so much, you certainly share his paranoia. I mean, when dealing with you, Michael. Marcel? Oh, no. Oh, shit, is he going to go talk to Michael? Oh, fuck. Davina's hiding something in that attic. The door was locked with a rather complex spell. Okay. Be a weapon, source of power. I prefer not to leave any... Oh, my God, when they find out that it's Michael. Ugh. Wolves in need of a gift only I can provide. Moonlight rings. Nice. I was about to say, thing is, like, once you give them the rings, they can technically just say, well, fuck you, I'm not going to join you. But I suppose if it's done by her magic, she can technically, given that she is so powerful and understands magic in a way that a lot of other witches seem not to, I think she would quite easily be able to disempower those rings and then that wolf will be fucked, so. Their scent is fresh, which means somewhere nearby we will find the remnants of your pack. And then what? If there's one thing these people hate more than vampires, it's hybrids. What they hate is their lack of power. That's what I mean. I think that Haley has got a little bit of inner turmoil right now because, like, she finally found her home. She finally found her people. And now she knows deep down that they would absolutely despise her if they knew what she was. You are their queen. I am a mess. I cry all day. I feed all night. All I can think about is how much I miss my daughter. Yeah. Again, heightened emotions. It's all that's going to be on her mind. I have not stopped thinking about her. When it pains me, I seek comfort in the idea of what I will do to those who would harm her. I was going to say, can you get the scent off it? Good to see you too. I appreciate you coming all the way out here. How's school? Make any new friends? I don't know. This, this guy asked me out. Be suspicious. I need a locator spell. Something's missing. A white oak stake. It's powerful enough to kill an original. Oh, I know what that is. But what if I do find it? I mean, I, I am not just going to give it to Klaus. He and Elijah are both brutal, sadistic monsters. I do wish I could disagree with you. Ooh. Tragically, however, you're quite right. Oh, the look that Davina just gave Marcel was so sad because, like, it's just... It completely shows a betrayal of trust. It shows that she did not expect this from him. She came in smiling, gave him a hug when this was all just a setup with Elijah. And that alone is going to cause an issue in their relationship. So that sucks. But I do wonder what Elijah is going to think about all of this. What, like, what point of view Elijah has? Why he's going to be coming to talk to her himself, you know? Because he must have more to add. No, I'm, I'm done listening. For a long time, you and your family have had all the power. You manipulate and kill anyone who gets in your way. That time's over. Wow. From now on, you can know what it is to be afraid. Go the fuck off, Davina. I'm not gonna lie. I don't disagree. I don't disagree with what she said. She knows the stake will not be used because she knows precisely where it is. Elijah, I love you. She's had it all along. Yep. Elijah, I love you. You're so smart. So Jackson is MIA and Oliver seems to think he's the alpha. You're not gonna listen to me. Just kill Oliver then. I've had enough. <laughs> we didn't come here to fight, Oliver. You're not one of us. Hell, you're not even a wolf. You're a blood-sucking vampire parasite. Yeah, they would rather follow a witch than you. I'd rather die than follow you. They kill him. Let him go now. You see? That is your queen. I'm assuming that was intentional. I'm going to find the witch. Seems I need to educate her as to what she may or may not do in my city. Oh, Klaus, your mum is about to fuck you up. <laughs> but yeah, I assume that was intentional on Klaus's part, so well done, mate. He has grown a lot. Like, all these flashbacks to him in the past 
We're seeing the most that he has grown a lot. These aren't the finest actors, but we are in the colonies. Where were we? Then venom oh to God. thy work. Oh my God. It's Hamlet, not Harlot. What have you done? I was just introducing myself. Well, Marcellus has got um blood around his lips, but we know that he doesn't become a vampire until later on. So what the fuck has Cole done in that regard? I've already fed him my blood. All you have to do is snuff him. Oh, fuck. Let him go, Elijah. No. Hopefully Klaus has got the stake on him right now. Marcellus is family. Yep. Stare at it all you want, but as long as I have this bracelet, I own you. You're her little bitch right now, Michael. <laughs> what happened to be now? Nah. Don't go smiling so quickly. <laughs> I'd be like, hmm, I'll think about it. <laughs> Although I am rather disappointed at how many of my once formidable brethren have been neutered by a 16 year old girl. She's not a 16 year old girl, mate. <laughs> little do you know. Me, Klaus. Here we go. I've been expecting you. I wonder if by calling him Niklaus, he's already a little bit suspicious. You have no humanity. So you punish those who do. Witches have a coven. Werewolves have a pack. And so we are a constant reminder of everything that you have forsaken. Wow. I've already begun to take precautions. In fact, I'm taking them as we speak. My family. Hmm. Oh no. They're all crazy. But why are you getting with Davina? Why are you trying to um lure Davina to your side? I know your story, Davina. When you're practically famous. You're the harvest girl that told them all to shove it. <laughs> I'm a lot like you. I don't really believe in rules and authority. I find this so intriguing. I feel like Davina harbors so much suspicion and hatred towards Klaus and Elijah, but she doesn't extend it to the rest of her life and it concerns me like she is allowing this man way too easily into her inner circle like she is on this date and she is smiling and everything to everything he's saying i would be concerned he's come to you under false pretenses knowing you are divina the harvest girl knowing you're a witch and all that that would lead me to believe that there are ulterior motives off the bat but it seems as though she doesn't have that concern which scares me for her, you know? Like, Davina, you gotta be more vigilant. Anyone who's ever wanted to kill an original is gonna be coming after you. Fine. Let them try. Hey, we can talk about this. I'm at Russo's. Don't bother coming, I'm leaving now. Yikes. Well, what's your rush, sweetheart? Why don't you stay and party with us? Get out of oh. our way now. Can you do that with the rest of them, or? Not all at once. Oh, shit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, given that Esther has so much control over the wolves, I assume this is a setup. Oh, she summoned him. Oh my god, go off to Vina. I didn't know she could do that. But oh my god, if Cole is there and he sees his dad walk in. Uh, come on, have someone see him. Yep. Oh shit. Oh, he's got the white oak stake on him. <gasps> shit. Shit! Oh no. What an interesting turn of events. Shit! Davina, this is why this was such a dumb idea. <laughs> Elijah. He's got the stake on him though. Davina, get that bracelet on right now. Nice. Oh fuck, come on! Stop. Go back now. Elijah's gonna be like, okay, right, excuse me, Davina, what the fuck? Something to say. Not me, mate. Not a bloody thing. Oh, I was about to say, not just that, but the fact that his brother's right there and he has no idea. That's the same tea my mother made. Oh, I loathed it. You know, she was insane. My mother, she changed her children, stole our innocence, made us vampires, condemned us to an eternity of bloodlust. I wonder if he is suspicious that it, this is her and that's why he's saying this or the feelings of abandonment and the feelings of hurt that he has carried with him his whole life have just been enhanced by her talking about how vampires are very lonely creatures 
how they are people who like werewolves have packs which is have covens vampires are on their own you know so i wonder if this has brought those feelings up and that's why he's saying it or he is suspicious that it's her are you building to a question niklaus do you use my full name yep no it's so though we are familiars does she speak to you now you have no idea she would tell you to go to your room for being so rude yep oh my god good night niklaus we will speak again soon it's worse than we thought klaus comes in mum's back elijah comes in dad's back <laughs> you got fucking family fighting on two sides now i swear to you elijah she is not just guided by our mother she is our mother i'm going to kill her oh boil her bones and feed them to the dogs if that's what it takes wow what could possibly be more important than the return of our mother our father shit he's enslaved with some spell cast by davina he holds the stake literally your worst fears have come to life well then there's only one question we need to ask isn't there which of our parents do we kill first Ooh, <laughs> that is a tough one i'd say esther to be honest take that bitch off the field are we running a kennel now a kennel <laughs> I'll handle them. you asked me to step up this is me stepping up well it seems i'm a good influence on you after all <laughs> for the first time in centuries he acted solely for the benefit of another yeah i believe that young marcellus mm. even i must make certain sacrifices if indeed we are to preserve the precious bond between niklaus and that child interesting marcellus have you ever considered you might not be the center of the given universe yeah this is such a shame obviously elijah has realized that his bond with marcel is causing a divide with klaus and marcel and given that he's now aware that that bond is needed to help klaus down a good path makes sense that he's now trying to distance himself from marcel but the other thing i want to touch on was the fact that um it's funny that elijah was so convinced that marcel was the way to get klaus to go down a different better path but unfortunately i think with the whole thing with rebecca and maybe the idea that Klaus wasn't in a good place back then. Klaus needed these moments of reconciliation, like knowing that his father's dead, all of that kind of stuff to get to a good place. Not necessarily a good place, get to a place where he's well enough to get good, if you get what I mean. And so that's why I think that his child is changing him now. It's because at this point in time, if he had had this child with Haley, I don't think he would be the person that he is right now. I think he needed all these events to get to a place where he was ready to be healed. And now it's slowly working, you know? The baby is slowly sending Niklaus down a good path where he's doing things to help people. Like, he's actively trying to help Haley right now without any benefit for himself. You brought him here. He's your burden to bear. If indeed we are to accommodate this little scavenger. Wow. That's so sad. Come now, little warrior. Let's have another go at the bar, shall we? That is so sad. Bless you, Elijah, and poor Marcel. I wonder if he ever told him that. He'll pledge his loyalty to Cassie, report back, and tell me everything that he learns. Well done. Oh, I wouldn't trust Oliver. Fuck that. Hopefully Cassie finds out and kills him. Perhaps it's for the best. You should be with your kind. It is sad that in this family, Elijah's the only one who's an actual vampire. Like, they all have this connection of being wolves, but Elijah doesn't. I'm aware. I gave the order. Wow. I'm not surprised one bit. <laughs> she will seek you out to apologize for what she perceives as an attack she caused. You forced me to sneak around like some common toady. If this is the grand new life that you've planned for me, then you can have it back. You are here by my grace. No, you don't like authority, Cole, but you cannot deny that she's literally got power over you. Finn, tell him what you saw. The door was open. The room was empty. So, how did Davina tear apart a pack of vicious wolves? Is he going to tell the truth? Well, I wish I knew. I was knocked out. I was knocked out during the attack. Yep. Interesting that he's keeping this information to himself. Every vampire that's ever been sired is an extension of you and your family. Now you can walk away from that and side with Klaus. And the wolves, but you're not one of them. You want allies, right? Look around. It is an interesting point to play on Elijah's feeling of being the only vampire left, you know, because I Elijah has never been the one in the family to feel the loneliness like the others. Like we've seen loneliness from rebecca in wanting relationships and we've seen loneliness from klaus in his mistrust for everyone and not feeling like he has a bond with anyone but with elijah we've never really experienced it but i'm sure he is feeling it i'm sure seeing Haley and klaus have this wolf pack connection 
with not just all of the people in Haley's pack and all that, but with each other. Like, they've got that wolf connection with each other, and Elijah does not have that. Yes, they have the vampire connection, but I feel like the wolf connection surpasses that because the wolf connection is what you're born with. It's what Haley has known herself to be her whole life. She's just become a vampire. It's not something that her and Elijah can connect over, you know? And especially given the, like, social stigma around it, vampires are considered to be the worst of the worst they are considered to be the worst parts so why would you want to connect with someone over the worst part of yourself you know so i'm sure elijah is feeling a bit ostracized right now so i wouldn't be completely shocked if he sides with marcel and all that so long as marcel isn't actively going against Haley and uh, Haley and klaus you know her name's gia i fed her my blood a few hours ago when she wakes up she's gonna need a mentor i hope that you do better with her than you did with me Yikes. So Marcel is still carrying that pain around him. Oh shit, that's the end. Okay, wow. That was a good episode. It was more of an episode centered around the connections of family and how really fucked up the original family is overall. Like, if we look at the fact that both of their parents are back, to most people in the world, if one of your parents comes back from the dead, Holy fucking shit. Incredible. Best thing that could ever happen to you in your entire life. And they just got both of them back. But unfortunately, because their family is so very fucked up, both of their parents are wanting to kill them all. So we're in a bit of a tough situation here. Now, still haven't fully got an idea of what Esther's goals are. Like, overall, plain and simple, she wants to take out her children like she originally wanted to stop the vampire curse. Because once they are all dead... All vampire sidelines are dead, every vampire in existence is dead, and she will have completed her life's work, you know? But is that it? Is that all that she wants? Is she simply gaming, gaining this werewolf army so that she can use them to take them out? One thing that I did notice as well was it's very smart of her to side with the wolves, because not only does it make sense politically in the sense that having the moonlight rings is a huge incentive and it's something that will get them on her side, but... The fact that Klaus and Haley will be less inclined to fight wolves, they will be less inclined to fight their own people than if she had got a group of witches or a group of vampires on her side, you know? Like, that's the group that you truly get to them with. So having an army of them who they're not being compelled, they're not being controlled, they are with her out of loyalty. Like, that is the best way to fight Klaus and Haley in this regard. Now, what Esther's reaction to Michael being back would be, I don't know. I don't know if part of her would be happy to reconnect with him to take out their children together, but then I don't think so because Michael holds, I'm assuming he holds so much disdain for Esther, so much hatred because of the affair that she had with the werewolf that I feel like he would try and kill her as much as anyone. So interesting that Cole kept it from her. I feel like that was an act of she has all of the power in the situation. Cole doesn't like being controlled. And so the only level of control he had in that moment was keeping that information from her. So I don't think it's some kind of like smart big brain plan. I think he was just using it as fuck you. You're going to treat me this way. I'm not going to give you information, you know. But yeah, interesting that Cole and Finn now have access to magic though, because we've never explored that with them. We've never explored magic in the original family apart from Esther because they were all turned so young. So it's a intriguing like thing to see them that way. I wonder if we're going to find a way in the future to get them their old bodies back because then that could be really cool because the actors are still around. Don't know about Finn, but obviously the Cole actor is still around because he was featured in the flashbacks this episode. So it could very well happen and I hope it happens because I feel like I have so much more like how do I describe Cole? It's not like I have hatred for Cole. I have like an uncomfortable feeling. When I see him I feel uncomfortable because I feel a bit scared. A bit scared about what he's going to do because he's very much a loose cannon every single way like you do not there is no way to predict what cole is going to do because he can do anything and laugh about it like he could go and murder a village of children and be fucking merry and happy you know so like i don't know how to feel about him but seeing his face definitely associates those feelings whereas seeing this new guy i don't really have any of that i'm struggling to like connect the dots in my head being like this is him this is what he did you know because it's just hard to relate it when you don't have the same face so i'd appreciate them bringing them back at some point maybe doing a spell to like change their appearance i don't know but hopefully we do get that back because it's needed for me to associate those memories you know but yes anyway overall absolutely fantastic episode we got to see Haley take over the wolves again she mentioned that oliver was on her side and was going to side with um cassie i'll, I'll say cassie because it's not revealed that it's Esther, but he's going to go and side with Cassie and then feed all the information back to Haley. Do I trust Oliver? 
absolutely fucking not not a single bit he sided with francesca because francesca was also a wolf and he saw it as the best deal for his people so like a part of me does think that maybe he will help Haley, but the other part of me is thinking what if he by siding with cassie realizes it realizes that that's the best option for his people and decides to go against Haley and convince them to all join him over on cassie's side you know like i just don't trust oliver one bit based on his past actions so all i'll say is good luck good luck Haley. keep him at arm's length don't trust him completely now they did also mention that jackson is missing which is concerning so i wonder what's going on there i wonder if out of the pain of all of the loss that they faced and just all of the big events that happened he just couldn't deal with things anymore he just felt overwhelmed and so he removed himself from the situation but it feels strange that someone who was so indebted to their pack would just leave them in the dust you know so part of that makes me think that maybe jackson like something actually happened to jackson something actually happened that injured him someone's got him held captive not that i i don't know why they would but you know what i mean it just feels weird for his character based on what we saw to just abandon his pack so intrigued to find out what's going on with him and where he is now with the end there obviously i think that elijah isn't like taking the vampire's side and going against Haley and klaus i think it's a matter of elijah is siding with his people the way that they have sided with theirs and all of this talk about vampires not having a pack or a clan or a coven i feel like the way that marcel has got to elijah here is the idea that these new vampires that are going to be formed in marcel's name and all of that are based on like a family aspect it's going to be basically a vampire version of a werewolf pack like these people are going to be indebted to each other they want to become vampires they're going to be a good community and i'm excited to see that we saw a bit of it obviously because marcel had his own community of vampires in new orleans but with everything that was going on it kind of all got fucked so i'm excited to see the beginning of that and if they are uh, if elijah actually sticks with this and he joins marcel it'll be nice to see a noble bunch of vampires due to elijah's own personal ways he views life and everything you know it could be cool to see them all brought up by elijah but i don't think he's actively going against Haley and klaus i think if the vampires were suddenly like let's go take them down elijah would turn on them because at the end of the day they are his family they are his family they are the mother and father of his niece which he considers to be so important in his life you know so i don't think he would stand for that but i don't think they have any intention of going against them right now so i think it's gonna be gucci but yes anyway with all that said absolutely fantastic episode and i'm excited to see where we go from here especially now that they know that esther and michael are back but for now thank you very much for watching i have left a link down below to my patreon we'll be able to find the early and cut reactions to the originals and all the other shows that i do also left a link to my twitch my discord and my socials so be sure to follow them if you are interested and jess thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time Bye bye